Hi, it's Leslie with another episode of The Real Houses of Orange County. And today we're looking at a custom estate in Los Ranchos Estates, and this one is on Trigo Trail. Let's go take a look, and I'll tell you about it as we go. This is the exterior. It's on a massive lot, and it's got the circular drive coming in. And then here's the front entry. And this is the front entry. And it goes through a courtyard out here. And we're gonna get we're gonna get a look out there in a minute. But we're gonna go through the main living quarters. This is the central downstairs hallway. And this is the formal living room with the hammered copper ceiling and the beautiful hardwood floors. And this is the pool room, the billiard room, the game room. You can make it whatever you want. And the really neat thing about this is that it's got two, two toilet areas. And then storage back here. And this is another little exterior room that you could use. And these all have that, sorry, I just wanted to show you the ceilings. These all have that hammered copper ceilings. The really deep windows, super thick baseboards, really pretty tile flooring in here. And then this goes back around to the formal living room. So we'll just go out this way so you can get a, sh a good view of the living room and the massive fireplace. And again, the beautiful ceilings. Okay, so let's go take a look at the rest of the house. back down the hallway toward the kitchen and there's a little bit of a festivity going on here today there are a lot of brokers in the area looking at the house well here's the formal living room with double french doors that go again out to the massive yard and again the hammered copper ceilings and this is the kitchen area this would be the prep area with all the dishes and the cabinets and access out to the doorway and this is the kitchen it has fabulous walk-in pantry beautiful built-ins there's the tv and the refrigerator and huge island with the gas cooktop and lovely cabinets well the sink it has oh let's go over here it has dual dishwashers and the farmhouse effect sink and the huge window that looks out to the front of the house and then we'll come back around there's the woodwork on the island and there's the floor with the inlays and the tiling that matches the hallway and then this is the butler's pantry the floor is 100 years old oh it is mm -hmm. oh thanks jill here's jill Hi. we'll talk to jill in a minute jill's Facebook a buddy here <laughs> Jill's the one that staged the house, so we're going to talk about that in a minute. And then this is the kitchen eating area. And going down this hall, this house, the main house is 7,200 square feet. There's a little anti-office, little, with a different pattern on the hammered coppered ceilings. And then this would be more like the family room. That, again, comes in from the hallway. So the kitchen is over here, like a point just so you're oriented as to how we're making our way through the house. And then again, double French doors out into the backyard. So I'm going to take you out to the yard. Let's go. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to jerk you around. Let's go this way. It's a fabulous outdoor area here that's got really, really cool wood ceilings, and there's wiring up there for light fixtures. And then this hallway goes down to the parking garage and the other living quarters, which is another 1,500 square feet. I'm going to stop right here. This is a bridge that I'm on, actually, and it's overlooking the koi pond. Let me see if I can zoom in. You can get an idea. There's some of the koi. And again, this comes around this way, and the water comes from this waterfall here, and then spills into the entire floor pond. This is the exterior of the casita. 
which is attached through this this covered breezeway. It's totally roofed, so you would never be in the rain or anything. And this goes into the garage. So there is, I think, uh, three cars parked, no, four cars parking out here, and then probably room for another 10 cars in the back. I'm going to take you this way. We'll go up the back stairs to the casita. Oh, I'm going to stop at the landing and show you the tennis court. It's got really big palm trees that are kind of covering, but you can see it's a lighted tennis court. And the pool area is actually up here. And there's an island with the um, outdoor kitchen supplies and the pool is up the steps right there. Then you can see the main house from here. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the entryway to the casita. It's got a two-story ceiling. And then this does not have any, well, a little bit of furniture, but you could use your imagination with this. But it's got spectacular light, plenty of room. Let's see, let's go this way. So this would be like the living room with a balcony. And here's the view of the rest of Kodo up Trigo Trail. And another shot of the yard, so I'll pan around this way. This is a window that gives you a view of the house, the main house. And then going down the hallway, this would be the laundry room. And this would be the family room. And this would be the little kitchen. So, kind of bare bones in here, but use your imagination. And I am going to not bore you with the walk back to the main house, but I'll meet you upstairs. Bye. Well, there's the shot of the hallway. Okay, bye. Hi, it's Leslie, continuing our look at the real homes of Cota de Casa, and this is the exterior of the one on Trigo Trail that I have been showing you. And I just want to pan and give you the outside entertainment area the exterior of the home with the huge, you can see the balcony up there, and then the covered patio down on the bottom level. Walk around this way. There you go. Get a larger view. And then I'm just going to come around here and give you a glimpse of the pool area. Through the gates. There we go, and then that's the tennis court that we already saw on the other side. You can see the lights for the tennis court, and it's really, really pretty, the vegetation. So, that's the backyard, and then we're going to continue upstairs. Bye-bye.